After a lull in launch activities in the last few months, SpaceX plans to close out 2021 with a spurt of missions from all three of the company's active launch pads in Florida and California, with five or more Falcon 9 flights planned before the end of the year. SpaceX's next Falcon 9 mission, scheduled for November the 24th from California, will tie the company's record for the most launches in a calendar year. Another Falcon 9 flight on December 1 will break the record. Today we are talking about the schedule, but before that, we welcome you all to our channel. We post daily updates from the world of space. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with the latest from the world of space. Let's talk about the record-breaking schedule. The Falcon 9 launch schedule through the end of December currently includes at least five more missions. Four from Florida's Space Coast and one from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. There could be openings for up to two more flights in the jam-packed schedule for launches carrying Starlink internet satellites. The year began with a rapid-fire cadence of Falcon 9 launches. SpaceX launched 20 Falcon 9 flights in the first half of 2021, an average rate of one launch every nine days. SpaceX's launch rate has slowed in the second half of the year, primarily due to the delays in readying a new generation of Starlink satellites. With the new Starlink satellites now rolling out of SpaceX's factory in Redmond, Washington, SpaceX is picking up the pace in the final weeks of 2021. Two Falcon 9 launches last week from Florida carried four astronauts into orbit on the way to the International Space Station and hauled a batch of 53 Starlink Internet satellites into orbit, bringing the total number of Starlink craft launched to 1,844 as SpaceX builds out its privately funded global broadband network. The missions last week brought SpaceX to 25 Falcon 9 launches this year one shy of the company's mark of 26 Falcon 9 flights in 2020, the most SpaceX missions in a single year. One of the 26 Falcon 9 launches in 2020 was an atmospheric abort test of SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule and did not enter orbit. SpaceX's 26th Falcon 9 launch of the year is scheduled for November the 24th at 1.20 a.m. EST from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. The flight will deploy NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, spacecraft on a trajectory to escape Earth and head into the solar system. The DART mission will take aim on an asteroid for a high-speed collision, demonstrating a deflection technique that could be employed in the future against an asteroid on course to threaten Earth. DART will target the small companion or moon of a larger asteroid. Scientists will measure the effects of the impact on the smaller asteroid's orbit around its larger parent body. The DART mission will be the first SpaceX launch with a spacecraft to travel to another object in the solar system. DART's launch will be followed by the next Falcon 9 flight from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station with the next cluster of Starlink satellites. That mission, which will break the record for the most SpaceX Falcon 9 flights in a year, is tentatively scheduled for December the 1st at 1.36 a.m. EST from Pad 40. Next up will be the launch of NASA's Imaging X-ray Polymetry Explorer, an IXPE mission from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center. A Falcon 9 rocket is set to launch the X-ray astronomy satellite during a 90-minute window opening at 1 a.m. EST on December the 9th. Then SpaceX plans to launch a Turkish communications satellite named Turksat 5B into geostationary transfer orbit from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral. The 90-minute launch window for that flight opens at 10.58 p.m. EST on December the 18th. The final launch of the year from 39A is scheduled for December the 21st at 5.06 a.m. EST, when SpaceX is set to send a Dragon cargo freighter into orbit atop a Falcon 9 rocket on a resupply mission to the International Space Station. That mission will be SpaceX's 24th cargo mission to the orbiting outpost. The schedule in December could have room for two or more Starlink launches, one from California and one from Florida. But SpaceX typically does not reveal schedules for its Starlink missions until weeks or even days before the launch date. A Falcon 9 launch from Cape Canaveral with an Italian radar remote sensing satellite, originally scheduled for this month, has been delayed to next year. 
However, the launch rate has slowed to only five launches so far in the second half of 2021, as SpaceX focuses on its next generation of Starlink satellites. As their production finalizes, at the SpaceX factory in Redmond, Washington, the Falcon 9 launch schedule has picked up to accommodate at least five missions before the year's end. In 2020, there were 25 launches, this year 30 or more, weather permitting, next year 40 or more. 125 plus successful launches in total, 100 plus successful launches in a row since the last failure. In terms of launch count, I think SpaceX accounts for 25% of all orbital launches in 2021 and 50% of all US launches. But that includes Rocket Lab as a US company and launch count isn't as informative as looking at payload mass, which would give SpaceX an even bigger market share. But the statistic I think is the most impressive is that all but one of the 2021 launches was on a reused booster. It's only been four years since the first reuse and now they're at over 95% reused first stages and they're still making more. More boosters coming off the production line and faster turnaround for the ever expanding fleet of boosters means more and more launches. Next year is going to be the year of the Falcon Heavy. Five plus heavy launches in addition to 40 plus Falcon 9 launches. And that's not even including the Starlink launches. Even a conservative prediction for 10 or 15 Starlink launches would bring them close to the 200 orbital launches milestone. And Blue Origin is at a similarly round number of orbital launches, zero. After a pause in launch operations in recent months, SpaceX plans to close in on 2021 on all three of the company's active launch platforms in Florida and California, and at least five Falcon 9 flights are scheduled before the end of the year. SpaceX's next Falcon 9 flight, scheduled for November the 24th from California, will tie the company's record for the most launches in a calendar year. The second flight of the Falcon 9 on December the 1st will break the record. The Falcon 9 launch scheduled for the end of the year currently includes at least five other missions, four from the Florida coast and one from the Vandenberg Space Forces base in California. The peak schedule for launches carrying Starlink satellites may be open for up to two flights. The year began with the fast peddling of the Falcon 9 launches. SpaceX launched 20 Falcon 9 flights in the first half of 2021, an average of one launch every nine days. SpaceX's launch speed has slowed in the second half of the year, primarily due to the delays in the production of the new generation of Starlink satellites. As the new Starlink satellites are completed at SpaceX's plant in Redmond, Washington, SpaceX will accelerate in the final weeks of 2021. With this, we have reached the end of our video. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you again tomorrow with more updates.